I've been thinking about it for a while, and I think we live in a very, very strange world. Nobody really knows how we came into existence. There is literally no way to prove it. The path of something appearing out of nothingness still remains a mystery. A lot has changed since human beings first came into existence, and a lot continues to change. So, backing up why I think it's really strange, I get this. So I live on planet Earth, along with seven billion others of the same species of my as my kind. Not just this, but there are also other animals, birds, fish, microbes, absolutely everything you can imagine, just thriving around me, also in me. And I'm so grateful for my existence. I consider myself. So lucky to be alive in this time. As humans, we have created these complex constructs and concepts that we still stick to. For example, hmm, we human beings, unlike all other creatures, wear pieces of fabric cut and stitched to fit our bodies, and we have a different set of them. That we put on to meet other humans, and different set to wear when we go to sleep, and a different set for this, a different set for that. Just so many different sets of them. So speaking of sleeping, this is an activity that we indulge in only at night inside our special boxed spaces in the buildings we live in. We lie down on a small, soft box and rest our heads on a smaller, softer box, and then just shut our eyes. For like seven eight hours, and then when we wake up in the morning, we never forget to apply a thick, creamy substance or a flavored gel on a plastic stick with plastic strands on it and rub it against our teeth. We also have another boxed space inside these buildings we live in, where we prepare the fuel that we need in order to live. We stock up different kinds of fuels and then mix it up and heat it for it to be consumed by us. And sometimes we go to a different boxed space with other humans that may or may not be related to us to consume our fuel and exchange for it pieces of paper that we've given imaginary value. Sometimes I feel so overwhelmed by the millions of things happening around me at once. The choices being made by people, the breath that is entering and leaving their bodies, the fact that each individual thinks about fifty thousand thoughts in a day, and then there are three hundred and sixty-five days in a year, and seven billion people thinking these thoughts every day for many, 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 many years. <sighs> you know, we also reserve certain days of the week where we use a thick, creamy substance and some water. To wash the top of our heads, and what we do every day is that we wash the rest of our bodies with a different creamy substance. Sometimes so thick that it's solid. Again, in reserved boxed spaces, and then we dry ourselves. After this, if we think our skin seems too dry, we apply a layer of a different kind of thick creamy substance on it, and it disappears onto our skin. And yes, we all think, and we all feel, and we all breathe, and we're living in a number that I can't even imagine. And to say that we're living on this huge ball of rock, so much bigger than us, which just appears to be a tiny marble rolling around through space, around a even bigger marble of fire, all suspended in nothing but vacuum. Also, for the first 18 years of our lives, we go to certain buildings almost every day, where other older individuals talk to us for eight hours of the day. We learn about different concepts and constructs and ink them down using our words into pieces of paper, which are usually attached to each other. We interact with other fellow humans and sometimes decide that we like them. If two humans like each other and spend time talking to each other and doing other fun things like going to other boxed spaces outside to consume their fuel together, 
they turn friends most people also decide to live with one other person for the rest of their lives many a times parents decide who their child should live with for the rest of his or her life and living together usually means sharing the box space where they sleep sometimes when humans really like other creatures that aren't human and know that the creatures won't harm them eat them up they bring them home and make the creature live with them so we're just on a tiny marble moving through space a tiny marble where the number of people who have ceased to exist outnumber those who are existing right now and the number of those who have never existed outnumber those who ever have does any of this even matter interestingly many people assign one hour of the day especially for walking in huge circles around the glassy space sometimes filled with trees but then if we have to move from one place to another and if it should take more than 20 minutes of walking we choose not to walk and instead we heek hmm well Vehicles are plastic and metal containers which are manually operated and can carry humans and objects and animals from one place to another either by rolling on the ground or sliding through water or by gliding through air. There also exist huge boxes of water in the ground in which we sometimes move from one end of it to the other. Finally, once we're done spending some time in this water, we wash ourselves with more water. And while doing all of this, never pause to think about the several people who die of not being able to have enough water to drink. Similarly, we also cut down trees to make thin sheets of what we call paper to write on. Quite often, we use these sheets to write "Please save trees" on. There are also tiny pieces of paper that we use to exchange with different things. These pieces of paper hold a lot of value, imaginary value, and people who don't possess enough of these can't exchange them for things they want. Remember I told you about the custom of wearing clothes? Some people wash and iron the clothes of other people and receive these colored pieces of paper holding imaginary value. Ironing is the act of sliding a hot box on clothes to make the folds on them disappear. And after this, The iron clothes are folded in a defined manner and stacked as if some folds are more acceptable than the other. There are just so many things. Another interesting concept that exists is that of God. Different groups of people believe that one or more forms of an invisible being exist. and that this invisible being will help everyone if they imagine asking it what they want they also give this being a form sometimes for example by painting a picture actually people paint pictures of so many things they paint pictures of objects other people trees mountains the sun the moon almost everything even things they haven't seen and people crush foods to obtain a liquid from it and then put them in a big in big glass pipes that are closed on one side and use a much thinner pipe open on both sides to suck this liquid and there are special boxes made for people to go in groups and use complex human made objects to stretch and move different parts of their bodies and sweat in the process and in some places many people live in huge column like boxes which are made up of many small boxes called flats though there's nothing flat about them and these flats have smaller habitable boxes in them there is just so much happening there are so many constructs and concepts and cultures and creations to be wondered at we live on this marble with several millions of our kind and beyond sometimes i feel too little Sometimes I feel that this marble is almost insignificant and the multiverse could do just fine without this tiny ball. Sometimes 
I laugh about this, but sometimes I cry. And it's in these times that I realize that I am so lucky to be human, to be able to feel and fear. I may not be much, but I can stand here on the face of this dot and be amazed at all that I want to, and I am. One of my favorite humans, whom I've never seen in person, though, once said, "Look again at that dot. That's here. That's home. That's us. On it." Everyone you love, everyone you know, everyone you have ever heard of, every human being who ever was lived out their lives. The aggregate of our joy and suffering, thousands of confident religions, ideologies, and economic doctrines. Every every hunter and forger, every hero and coward, every creator and destroyer of civilization, every king and peasant, every young couple in love, every mother and father, hopeful child, inventor and explorer, every teacher of morals, every corrupt politician, every superstar, every supreme leader, every saint and sinner in the history of our species lived there. on a moat of dust suspended in a sunbeam well what do i say i'm simply astounded <laughs>